Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna show top 20 amazing upcoming 2024 motorcycles first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Triumph has announced the 2024 Triumph Tiger 900 range, which includes the Tiger 900 GT, Tiger 900 GT Pro, and Tiger 900 Rally Pro. With each bike providing more of what the company says its customers have grown to love about the Tiger 900. Just like our latest generation Street Triple, while the Tiger 900 has had a big impact, we're never happy here at Triumph to rest on our laurels. James Wood, Triumph's Global Product Marketing Manager. Said at the unveiling of the new Tiger 900 lineup. As a team, we're always pushing forward on every key dimension, always looking to make it better. Triumph Chief Product Officer Steve Sargent also sang the bike's praises. The Tiger 900 already has an excellent reputation as an award winner and rally competitor, enjoying success against production motorcycles as well as purpose-built off-road machines, he said. In fact, the Tiger 900 Rally Pro was used by World Enduro Champion Ivan Cervantes, securing champion titles at the Baja Aragon Rally, 1000 Dunas Raid, and Basila Enduro in 2022. With such an impressive pedigree, we needed to set ourselves a high target to improve the new Tiger 900. We were focused on raising the game in the middleweight category all over again. What said the new Triumph Tiger 900 range will deliver? More performance, more capability, more all-day comfort, and more attitude. Basically, a significant step up, all while maintaining and delivering that unique Tiger triple character, an easy, agile, dynamic ride. Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 Moto Guzzi V100 Stelvio first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. The rumors of a new Moto Guzzi Stelvio slate back to IC May 2022. The Piaggio and Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now. It seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek grab rails. This is partnered by a short, new exhaust with a dual tone finish. Meanwhile, the overall ruggedness has increased. Thanks to a tall, transparent windscreen, spoke wheels. The rumors of a new Moto Guzzi Stelvio slate back to IC May 2022. The Piaggio and Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, 
and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek New Honda CB1000 R looks mighty impressive in its Hornet-inspired avatar. The CB1000 R is an important motorcycle for Honda. Yet, it hasn't undergone a major update since 2018 and feels rather dated in the much competitive leader-class Street Fighter segment. According to the latest rumors, however, the Naked is all set to go under the knife and come out in an all-new avatar with more of everything performance, aggression, sportiness. Taking this into perspective, Japan's young machine has whipped up a render of the new CB which appears mighty impressive, more importantly. Capable enough to take on rivals like the Suzuki GSX S1000 and the Yamaha MT10. According to rumors, the CB1000R will shed its minimalistic neo-retro skin to slip into a sportier attire. It'll take inspiration from the Honda Hornet CB750's edgy styling and one-up it with even more aggression. The render shown here paints the same picture, evident from the transformer-like fascia, sleek tail, and brawny tank shrouds. Another notable detail is the massive radiator and its partnering grille that add even more beef to the mix. The thing we most look forward to, however, is the upgrade in performance. You see, the current Gen CB1000R draws its 998 cubic centimeters, inline 4 engine from the 2007 CBR1000RR that gushes out 143 horsepower. But for the upcoming model, it'll switch to Honda's new leader class mill found on the 2017 CBR1000RR. The CBR produced 188 horsepower, so the new CB should be good enough for at least 175 ponies. If so, it'll beat both its Japanese contemporaries GSX S1000 and MT10 while being right in the ballpark of the Aprilia to Ono V4 1100. This is Yamaha's ultimate long-distance adventure motorcycle that has the power to change the way you explore our planet. Equipped with high-capacity dual fuel tanks and long travel suspension that can take you further than ever, the Tenera 700 World Raid gives you the chance to discover what's beyond the next horizon. Back in the early 1980s Yamaha launched a bike that was to start a whole new movement in motorcycling. With its big tank, rugged engine and versatile chassis. The original XT600 Tenera made long-distance adventures a reality for anyone with the desire to discover new landscapes and different ways of life. Its large capacity 23 liter dual fuel tanks give a range of up to 500 kilometers making it possible to cross huge areas of wilderness without worrying about running dry. To stay informed and in touch wherever you go, the 5 inch TFT color display with smartphone connectivity shows incoming text and call notifications on screen. Exclusive features include an Olean steering damper as well as fully adjustable long travel front and rear suspension that's designed to handle tough off-road terrain, and the three-mode ABS gives confidence in all conditions. 
All this bike is missing is a rider like you who has the courage to break out of your comfort zone and go beyond the next horizon. Yamaha has been a major player in the adventure world since the XT500 won the first ever Paris Dakar Rally. Forty years ago the very first Tenera opened up a new era of world travel for every rider who wanted to go beyond the next horizon and the latest Tenera 700 range includes the Tenera 700 Extreme and It's hard to believe, but it's been an entire 10 years since the KTM 990 Super Duke was a part of the Austrian OEM's lineup. For some time, we've seen numerous hints at KTM developing a new 990 Duke in the 2020s. Some incredibly strong evidence emerged in January 2023, when LC8C engine drawings from China appear taller than the familiar, existing LC8C mill, almost as though the cylinder was elongated. Now, engine drawings may just be drawings, particularly in another market, but a 990 Duke as an evolution of the 890 Duke seems completely plausible, and not at all out of KTM's character. Besides, we wouldn't be dragging up those drawings in July 2023 without good reason. That good reason is, of course, a set of new spy photos that appear to show the upcoming KTM 990 Duke prototype out testing, and largely undisguised. So undisguised, in fact, that the rider is actually wearing a rather nice looking set of leathers and helmet that matches the bike. The test mule depicted in these photos is largely black and white in color scheme with small splashes of KTM signature orange on the front fork, as well as the piping around the pair of soft panniers located at either side of the tail. The rider's helmet, boots, and race suit seem to have more orange than the bike, so maybe the machine is in disguise after all. We don't get to see the right side of the bike in these shots. Only the front, left side, and rear of the bike are visible as the photographer shot this bike winding down a mountain road. Twenty twenty four Hypermoted six ninety eight Mono. The first single-cylinder road-going supermotored by Ducati, born with just one aim to transmit excitement, dominating the scene. The new hypermoted 698 Mono is the first single-cylinder road-going supermotored by Ducati, born with just one aim to transmit excitement, dominating the scene. Simple, lightweight, and agile, it is a fun bike with racing DNA. The ideal combo for first-class fun. Style, power, and control. The ideal combo that leaves you with just one thought, to enjoy every moment aboard the hypermoted 698 Mono. Yenjiani New 659 cubic centimeters Super Quadro Mono. The 659 cubic centimeters Super Quadro Mono with desmodromic timing is the most sophisticated and high-performance single-cylinder road engine ever built, able to achieve the highest engine speed in its category. Style, Moted Style by Ducati The aggressive, simple, and compact look typical of a race-ready supermotor is combined with the clean and well-finished surfaces so distinctive of every Ducati. Technology, Superbike-derived technologies. To achieve maximum performance on track, we've applied technical solutions deriving from the Panagale world to the engine, frame, and electronics. A real supermotor is a single cylinder. And that's all there is to it. Simple, compact, slender and aggressive the 
The design of the hypermotored 698 mono centers around these elements. The Honda Forza 750-2024 will debut an elegant ballistic black version with golden touches. The Forza 750 launched in 2021 to critical acclaim and has carved out a niche in a hotly contested market segment. Its slim, curvaceous bodywork offers great protection from high-speed wind, ample legroom for the driver and a low seat height, all without excessive bulk. Storage space under the seat accommodates a full-face helmet and is equipped with a USB-C charging socket. It also has a practical glove box. A TFT instrument display incorporates the Honda smartphone voice control system, communicating to the driver with his smartphone. The ignition, locking and opening of the seat are activated by the smart key. Propelled by a vigorous twin-cylinder engine of 750 cubic centimeters and 59 horsepower of power the Forza 750 comes equipped with a throttle-by-wire TBW electronic throttle that allows you to fine-tune the engines. Character with three default ride modes, Rain, Standard and Sport, plus a customizable user mode. He Honda Selectable Torque Control Honda Selectable Torque Control offers a refined degree of intervention with three levels. While the standard DCT dual-clutch transmission incorporates automatic gear-changing programs that interact with the driving modes. A tubular steel frame, aluminum swing arm, 41 million US dollars inverted fork, four-piston radial mount brake calipers, Pro-Link rear suspension and 17-inch and 15-inch front and rear wheels respectively make up a well-appointed chassis and provide sport bike levels of handling and scooter form. For 2024, the Forza 750 debuts several colors, highlighting the version finished in Negro Ballistic Mate Metalizado incorporating striking gold wheels and logos, which are complemented by new black engine casings, pivot plate, swing arm and skid plate floor skirts, exclusive to this color version. The 2024 Forza 750 will also be available for order at Rojo Chromosphere Candy with skid plate and finisher in graphite black. Following up the announcement of the exciting all-new 2024 MT-09, Yamaha Motor Corporation, USA is proud to unveil the ultimate high-performance hyper-naked middleweight. The all-new 2024 Yamaha MT-09 SP. Along with the same extensive list of upgrades seen on the class-leading MT-09. The new MT-09 SP takes the exceptional platform even further with a higher level of specification including upgraded suspension and brakes, track focus technology and electronics. Plus exclusive SP color scheme and finish for an unmatched dark side experience. A decade of the dark side of Japan. The introduction of the MT-09 marked a step away from conventional Japanese motorcycle design and introduced a bold, abstract new direction for Yamaha inspired by the unique urban motorcycle subculture found on the streets of Japan's largest cities. Signifying an exciting new era, the MT-09 featured aggressive styling, a chassis designed for light, agile handling and a torque-laden CP3 engine to stimulate the senses. Stripped of unnecessary bodywork, packed neatly into a compact aluminum frame and equipped with Yamaha chip-controlled throttle YCCT, the MT was the perfect blend of high performance, cutting-edge technology and purposeful functionality. The dark side of Japan was unleashed upon the world. 
The heart of the new 2024 MT-09 SP remains Yamaha's world-renowned 890 cubic centimeters DOHC CP3 engine, providing high revving power. Setting a high standard in the adventure motorcycle segment, the Norden 901 allows touring enthusiasts to discover the hidden corners of the globe. Highly capable on road and excelling off road, the long distance travel machine is designed to enhance rider comfort on longer rides. Powered by a smooth and torquey 889 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine, which is housed inside a lightweight, steel trellis frame, the Norden 901 is complete with premium components. Offering maximum performance and reliability. Explore the world your way with the Norden 901. Husqvarna is bringing back its Norden 901 travel bike for the 2024 model year and endowing it with just minor revisions and updates, mainly of the technological variety. Expect to see the same LC8C engine stuffed into a steel trellis frame and suspended by WP Apex components. But embellished with fresh new colors and a smattering of new rider aids and convenience features this year. Fresh visuals take center stage this year, with the 2024 Norden 901 getting wrapped in new gray and yellow graphics to highlight the whole Neo Retro Meets Rally vibe with a signature round headlight leading the way. Underneath the bodywork though it's business as usual, with the same proven 889 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine taken straight off the KTM 890 Adventure. The Versus 650 motorcycle was created to conquer the city, or leave it far behind. Designed to conquer the urban jungle, its ultimate potential comes to life equipped with its long travel suspension and enhanced touring features that have the ability to transport you, your passenger and luggage to the next big adventure. Dedicated features like an adjustable windscreen, TFT color instrumentation with smartphone connectivity, LED lighting and Kawasaki Traction Control KTRC ensure you'll enjoy every ride. For a short office trip or a weekend away, let the Versus 650 be your ultimate travel guide. Comfort and Style All-day riding comfort. A slim, upright riding position offers maximum comfort for rides of any length. A short style fuel tank positions the rider closer to the front wheel for increased controllability and offers a greater choice of forward rearward sitting positions. Complementing the wide handlebar, the footbags are positioned low and slightly forward of the seat, offering a relaxed position while also enabling sporty riding. The seat's slim design in addition to the knee grip characteristics of the fuel tank afford freedom of movement, allowing the riders to change sitting position if needed. The stepped shape of the two-piece seat also provides support for the rider when accelerating. Added convenience. The windscreen and upper cowl offer considerable wind protection and add to the Versus 650 motorcycle's potential as a capable touring partner. The windscreen's four positions can conveniently be adjusted from the rider's seat. The total range of adjustability is approximately 80 mm, with the four positions spaced at 27 mm intervals. Conveniently, adjustments can be done by hand by depressing the release button below the instrument panel. Vision for the future, LED headlights add symmetry to the Versus 650 motorcycle's face. LED turn signals add a modern touch, contributing to the bike's good looks.
Suzuki has launched the 2024 V-Strom range in the USA. The Japanese ADV has been offered in two variants, Standard and Touring. The bike has been updated on the mechanical and cosmetic front for 2024, and here's what we know about it. While the 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 800 has carried forward the same design, it is now available in new paint schemes. The standard trim comes draped in metallic matte steel green. While the Turing model gets glass sparkle black. That said, the vertically placed LED projectors topped by a transparent visor, and the slim bodywork remain unchanged on the 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 800. It's powered by a 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin liquid-cooled motor that's linked to a six-speed gearbox. However, Suzuki is yet to reveal the power figures for the latest model. We expect it to be the same as before 83 brake horsepower and 78 newton meters. The 2024 V-Strom 800 rides on Showa separate function fork big piston front forks and a Showa rear shock absorber with remote preload adjustability. Its braking hardware comprises dual 310mm front discs and a single 260mm rear disc with ABS. These are mounted on 19-inch front and 17-inch rear cast aluminium wheels shoot in Dunlop tires. Then, the list of rider aids on the new model includes a 5-inch TFT and Suzuki's intelligent ride system to access traction control, ABS, ride modes, easy start, and low RPM assist. Why the 2024 BMW M1000XR will be the wildest sports tourer out there. It aims to leave the Ducati Multistrada V4 Pikes Peak in the dust. The M1000XR first made headlines when BMW filed a trademark application for it way back in 2019. Four years later, the Bavarian giant has finally taken the next step and presented the M1000XR prototype for the 2024 model year. It is the third motorcycle in BMW Motorrad's auspicious M lineup, after the WSBK derived M1000RR and the world's most powerful naked, the M1000R. Though the full launch and specifications are still some time away, the official images give away a lot of juicy details about the S1000XR derived model. This, together with some not so subtle remarks from the bike maker, suggests it will be the wildest sports tour out there. Here's all you should know about it. The 2024 BMW M1000XR promises upwards of 200 horsepower. BMW's M badge is only meant for its fastest products, and the M1000XR is no different. The Bavarian giant has confirmed the MXR will boast the 999 cubic centimeters, inline four engine from the S1000RR. It will produce upwards of 200 horsepower which, coupled with its 491-pound curb weight and acropovic titanium can, helps it clock a top speed of 174 miles per hour. For reference, the currently on sale S1000XR produces 165 horsepower, weighs 498 pounds, and comes with an electronically restricted 161 miles per hour top speed. 
Top speed aside, the increased horsepower will be more usable too, thanks to BMW's shift cam technology. It's the company's jargon for a variable valve timing system fitted with a differential valve lift that helps improve combustion and efficiency. The 2024 Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL 750 Transalp, certifying the mid-sized adventure tour for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW R1300GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market. Motorcycle.com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing. But it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think. Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 Twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. It first officially appeared at the ICMA show in 2022. The new XL750 Transalp is based on a 755cc liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lbft of torque at 7,250 rpm. An assist slipper clutch is standard. A quick shifter is available as an option for the six-speed gearbox. If you've been eagerly awaiting the release of the 2024 BMW R1300GS, then we've got good news for you, because it's finally here. The engine isn't the only thing that's new about this bike, either, as BMW Motorrad basically redesigned the whole concept of its flagship adventure tour from the ground up. The resulting bike weighs a full 26 pounds less than the 2023 R1250GS, says BMW. Let's dive right in, because there's a lot to discuss. The engine. The 2024 BMW R1300GS is powered by a 1300cc air and liquid cool boxer engine with bore and stroke of 106.5mm by 73mm. It makes a claimed 145 horsepower at 7750 rpm, alongside 105 pound feet of torque at 6500 rpm. It uses BMW shift cam variable valve timing technology with intake valves that are 44 mm in diameter and exhaust valves that are 35.6 mm in diameter. BMW also concentrated on increasing torque throughout the rev range, specifically focusing on the band between 3,600 and 7,800 RPM. There, it says that over 96 pound-feet of torque is consistently available resulting in a strong pull throughout that should work well in most riding situations. At the same time, BMW says, it managed to keep fuel consumption comparable to the R1250 GS, it's just using its power more efficiently. 
Top speed is acclaimed 124 miles per hour, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time is listed as 3.39 seconds. With the new engine comes a 6-speed gearbox that is now located beneath the engine, rather than behind the engine. This change in packaging allowed BMW to create a more compact unit, as well as focus on lowering the center of gravity and further centralizing mass. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure Sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa twin Adventure Sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 RPM. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 millimeters. That's 5 millimeters, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twins' current wheelbase which has remained at 62.0 inches across all variants since the update from CRF1000L to CRF1100L for the 2020 model year. As for the pricing and availability, the 2024 Yamaha Tenere The 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Grey in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New interface. The T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog style design. Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED turn signals, 
The 2024 Tenere 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter The T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter, which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. For 2024, the Touareg 660 looks sexier than ever. There are three new shades on offer, namely Atriides Black, Canyon Sand, and Dakar Podium. The first option drapes the ADV in a sinister black livery, while the second one comprises a sandy finish on the bodywork. Both have a red finish for the trellis frame to add a pinch of sportiness. The crown jewel, meanwhile, is the Dakar Podium livery. As the name suggests, it pays homage to Aprilia's third-place finish in the 2010 Dakar Rally and takes inspiration from the RXV 4.5 race bike. The livery is a blend of white, blue, and red finishes, topped by thick black stripes and a red chassis. As good as this looks, we think the Italian giant could have slapped on some extra tidbits for an even spicier aesthetic. Since its debut in 2021, the Aprilia Touareg 660 has been one of the top players in the middleweight adventure bike biz. It goes fast, rides well, and promises exceptional off-road abilities. All this is now being carried forward to 2024, as the Noali factory has taken the wraps off the updated Touareg 660. Not a fan of the new shades? Then, you'd be happy to know Aprilia has also retained the 2023 colors. So you can get the motorcycle in Acid Gold, Martian Red, and Indeco Talzmas options. The first two have dual tone seats, color matched with the liveries. Nothing has changed under the skin. The Touareg 660 continues to employ Aprilia's 659 cubic centimeters, twin cylinder powerhouse. It produces 79 horsepower and 51 pound-feet, all sent to the wheel via a six-speed transmission. The engine is nestled inside a steel trellis frame that suspends on 43mm Kayaba upside-down forks and a monoshock from the same company. Both ends are fully adjustable, while offering 9.44 inches of travel. This is topped by 21 18-inch lace spoke wheels. Suzuki has launched the 2024 V-Strom range in the USA. The Japanese ADV has been offered in two variants, Standard and Touring. The bike has been updated on the mechanical and cosmetic front for 2024, and here's what we know about it. While the 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 800 has carried forward the same design, it is now available in new paint schemes. The standard trim comes draped in metallic matte steel green. while the Turing model gets glass sparkle black. That said, the vertically placed LED projectors topped by a transparent visor, and the slim bodywork remain unchanged on the 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 800. It's powered by a 776 cubic centimeters parallel twin liquid-cooled motor that's linked to a six-speed gearbox. However, Suzuki is yet to reveal the power figures for the latest model. We expect it to be the same as before 83 brake horsepower and 78 newton meters.
The 2024 V-Strum 800 rides on Showa's separate function fork big piston front forks and a Showa rear shock absorber with remote preload adjustability. Its braking hardware comprises dual 310mm front discs and a single 260mm rear disc with ABS. These are mounted on 19-inch front and 17-inch rear cast aluminium wheels shoot in Dunlop tires. Then, the list of rider aids on the new model includes a 5-inch TFT and Suzuki's intelligent ride system to access traction control, ABS, ride modes, easy start, and low RPM assist. Those wanting a faster Multistrada than the V4S, Pikes Peak, Rally, and Grand Tour have had their prayers answered in the 2024 V4RS. Ducati is claiming a plainly bonkers 180 horsepower out of the $37,995 MSRP RS, which, unlike the aforementioned models listed above, uses the Panigale V4S and Street Fighter V4S's 1,103 cubic centimeters Desmosetisi straight ale engine as opposed to the ubiquitous 1,158 cubic centimeters motor. The RS gains the same high-flow air filter as the chart-topping Panigale V4R Superbike and the billet aluminum STME VOSBK dry clutch, but weight saving has been a main aim of the RS gain. To that end, there's 6 pounds taken off the now lithium-ion battery, a 5.5 pound lighter titanium subframe. And 6 pounds have been shed from the now forged aluminum Marcassini wheels, and as we all know, less unsprung mass means more fun in the corners. The RS gets every Ducati electronic gizmo you'd expect, adaptive cruise control ACC and blind spot detection BSD, Bosch inertial measurement unit. For power modes with the extra race riding mode that gives the full whack of the V4 motor in all six gears. For ECU modes of race, sport, touring, and urban. Traction, wheelie and engine brake control, quick shifter, and a 6.5 inch TFT display that allows phone mirroring via the Ducati Connect app. V4 Multis have always been good at knee dragging, but this one looks like it's up the ante somewhat. Ducati has just announced the 2024 Desert X Rally, a souped-up version of the Ducati Desert X made for more aggressive off-road riding. Thankfully there's more to the Ducati Desert X Rally than just its livery and high fender. Falling in with the trend of getting highly skilled off-road riders to race big adventure bikes and gnarly competitions, Ducati has already fielded the Desert X Rally in the Erzberg Rodeo. with five-time Enduro world champ Antoine Mio winning the twin-cylinder class. So it boasts a smorgasbord of upgrades over the base model Desert X. For starters, there's 20 mm more suspension travel at each end, bringing the overall numbers to 250 mm at the front and 240 mm at the rear. The front end wears new billet aluminum triples, Gripping a set of closed cartridge KYB forks that sport a Kashima coating on the uppers and a DLC coating on the lowers. There's an Olean steering damper in play too. Like the regular Desert X, the Ducati Desert X Rally has an aluminum swing arm, but the pivot point sits in a different spot. A fully adjustable KYB shock features a bigger piston than the base model's unit. 
With the suspension changes, the Desert X Rally's ground clearance now sits at 280 mm. Like its sibling, the Desert X Rally wears a 21 inch front wheel and an 18 rear wheel. On October 24, 2023, Yamaha Motor Europe made the dream of many a fan come true when it finally pulled the covers off the 2024 XSR 900 GP. The XSRs have been Yamaha's sport heritage bikes, so it's beyond fitting that the XSR 900 GP would be the place where Team Blue brought back some of its iconic. race-derived styling cues from the 1980s and 90s. It's a thoroughly modern machine underneath, but with heritage styling from arguably the most stylish era of motorcycle racing. What could be better? Let's dive wholeheartedly into those details and take a look. The engine. The 2024 Yamaha XSR 900 GP is powered by Team Blue's liquid-cooled, dual overhead cam three-cylinder 890 cubic centimeters engine. Bore and stroke are 78 millimeters by 61.1 millimeters, and the compression ratio is 11.5 to 1. Yamaha lists maximum horsepower at 87.5 kilowatts about 117.3 horsepower at 10,000 RPM. Torque is 93 Nm about 68.6 pound-feet of torque at 7,000 rpm. The CP3 mill is mated to a 6-speed gearbox with an assist and slipper clutch and Yamaha's third-generation up and down quickshifter. Cruise control is standard on the XSR 900 GP. Frame, suspension, brakes, wheels, and tires. Browse either your fond memories or any classic motorcycle auction site, and you'll see Yamahas with Delta Box frames proudly on display. It's something that Team Blue developed for its GP racers in the 80s, 